think the hating <clears throat> what I think I kind of hate the lighting today but we're gonna go with it hey what's up guys and hey Barbies and Kens welcome back to the channel it is like I want to say at least 26 or 23 degrees I think it was 23 last time I looked degrees outside it is snowing pretty badly and I figured I have this huge bag of stuff to go through so I figured why not do it uh as you can see from the title this is all the stuff that's coming to my eBay in February but to be honest some of this stuff as well is mine uh I found this stuff at Goodwill a flea market that I went to I think that's it yeah Goodwill and a flea market I went to so uh, I hope you guys like it and enjoy all the stuff I found. The flea market was like pretty great because it was like a community one. So some of the prices were ridiculous and other prices were like decent. So it was cool. Uh, let's jump into it though. So let's get into it. And if you guys want to check out any of the things in this video and see them over on my eBay, the link is down below and then they will also be on Depop. They are usually on Depop first before eBay. Okay, let's get into this. I'm so tired today, too. I'm like, uh, it's early, too. Like, it's, like, 6 o'clock at night, and I'm, like, ready to sleep. Not a good look. Not a good look. So, the flea market I went to, I didn't get too much, so I'll just show you what I got there to start with. Because I have this in front of me, and it's so pretty. I'm obsessed with it. Also, I have, like, a weird backstory. Uh, I found this. The lady wanted $10 for it. It's Precious Moments, but as you can see, it's Precious Moments Disney, Little Mermaid. The bottom is so pretty. Look at the globe part, too. The globe is so cute. Looks like a little crystal ball, and it still plays, which I'll show you in a minute. But it said, like, 10 or whatever, and the lady's like, oh, if you want that, I'll get it to you for 5 So immediately, I was like, oh, yeah, that's, I love freaking music box globes. Yes, I'm obsessed with them. So, uh, I nabbed it. Isn't that pretty? The part that I thought was crazy was, if you didn't know, I have a Little Mermaid tattoo on my leg, and it's of Little Mermaid and a slice of cake. And, um, yeah. It's weird because the cake uh, is purple, and this one is purple as well. And it's just, it's a weird concept because, like, I've never seen this before, it's from 2007, and, you know, my tattoo I got a couple years ago, so I thought that was pretty cool, and the price was right, so this is for my little snow globe collection. Once I have, like, a really decently sized snow globe collection, I'm gonna show it to you guys. I don't have that many to start with, to be honest, so eventually you'll see. Let me see what else I got for that sale. This will be coming to my eBay. This Triceratops Build-A-Bear. And it's one of the older ones because it doesn't have the marking anywhere. The marking's on the side. So I picked up that. And it also had clothes on. I have to like watch what I'm doing because I'm putting like pile to get sold. Pile that's mine. <laughs> It also had this brand new skirt, which I'm going to fix it because it's kind of crazy right now. Okay. I had this brand new skirt on and this brand new shirt on. Isn't that awesome? We love that. So I'm going to do shirt and that separate, build it very separate. And then this I got for myself at the flea market sale, just this little cupie baby. I love cupies, so picked up another one. Uh, I guess I'll keep her on the desk in front of me. Uh, so let's move on to flea market stuff. Okay, so before Build-A-Bear was a thing, there was Paws and Claws, if you didn't know that. Um, this one has a string loose on its arm and I have scissors right in front of me so I'm gonna 
cut that off and fix it. There we go. Does it have any more loose strings? It does not. So it is a paws and claws bear. Isn't that cute with a little basketball outfit on? I thought that would be fun to sell. Uh, I want to sell it with the outfit on, but if it doesn't sell like that, then I guess um, I would separate them, but I feel like it would go with that on. So I got that, which is really cool. It's from like 2000s. It's in good condition for the most part. So I'll put that on the cell pile. Mm. I just feel so tired today and shitty. Mm. This I got for myself for eventually. It was two bucks and it is for your lettuce or all that kind of stuff. I guess you could even put like fresh veggies in it, watermelon cut up. You catch the drift, you feel me. Oh, I knew I forgot something from that sale. I, I, I suck. This is from the flea market. It was, she's like flying off her stand. Uh, she was 50 cents, obviously, there's the tag. And uh, I got her for myself. I love little random oh, stickers like sticking to my hand. Uh, I love little like random. I'm taking her off the stand. I love little random dolls like this. She's hand strung porcelain. I thought she'd just be cute for my collection of dolls. Um, I have absolutely no idea like where she's from. I don't see any kind of markings on it. So, yeah, no idea what's up with her, but she's cool. So I got her for 50 cents, and that's why I didn't pass up on it, because I'm like, oh my god, for that, I want her to have a home. I'm trying to stick her back on her stand now. Okay, there we go. Ah, there we go. Look at her, her little arms out. Cute. Now we're getting into the stuff I got from Goodwill. So this says Frenchie on it. And I couldn't find much information. I'm going to keep looking over time, obviously, before I list it up online. Um, I'm trying to fix the hair on it right now. Okay, where the hell is... It does not say there. Oh my god, why is the tag, like, bent so stupidly? Doesn't say it on that side. It says on this side. Here we go. Come on. Okay, I finally got it. 2011 Alexandria Doll Company. So it's the Alexander Doll Company. Um, Frenchie Dog. I got that at Goodwill. Oh my goodness. That like took forever just to get it to like show itself. That was ridiculous. Okay, there that is. And then this is really cool. This is uh, Jurassic Park or Jurassic World. But it says live tour, so they must have had some kind of live Jurassic tour somewhere and sold these. So I thought that was really cool. So I picked that up. That was two bucks. My Goodwill has been like changing a lot of their prices around lately. It's been weird. Um, like sometimes stuff is really overly priced and other times it's like really cheap. So I got him for resale. This I bought myself. Uh, it is a brand new, cutting it out of the package now, softball. I don't have a glove, but that's something easy I could pick up. Um, and it's like a breast cancer awareness softball, but that was only two bucks. So that's why I grabbed it and I'm going to keep it in my car. If I want to go to the park in the summer and throw around a softball. 
So I found a lot of stuffed animals while I was there, and I try not to get stuff like that, but the ones that I found, I'm just like, uh, I know they'll sell. So this one is the little pig, and this is Olivia from Gund, which I didn't know was from Gund, so I think I'll have an easier time finding that, and I, I am selling it. It's from 2004, which is awesome, and I think this was $2, yeah, 2 bucks. So I grabbed the little Olivia pig. I should be throwing them back in the bag I had them in. So this is called the Shining Stars cat. Do you see that? He's super soft. Like, he's super adorable. Uh, some kind of website. Good used code on that and play. Uh, that was two bucks. So that's going to be going up onto my eBay. Oh my god, he has like... I feel like this is like a knockoff webkin. Because <laughs> he has like a tag and everything you can go online. But then look at the foot. What a freaking knockoff webkin. Bad. It's, it's cute, but it's bad. Okay, so that's funny. That was a cat that I found, right? And here's our actual web kittens. Okay. Okay. Isn't that funny? Knockoffs. That was also $2. So let me cut that. So it's called the Pom Pom Kitty. So I grabbed that for resale. I do have a Webkins collection, but I don't want that one for my collection. I don't know why. Before I show you this stuffed animal, I want to fix its bow. So, give me a second because it's messed up. Mm. I love old vintage 90s stuffed animals. And that's what this is. Except I'm like tying the bow super tight now. Okay, there we go. How cute is this? It's a Dankin bunny. And look at its little insides of its ears are rainbow. Isn't that precious? That's precious. I love him. This was only 99 cents, which I didn't even know that. I didn't even look at the price when I got it. I was just kind of like, I need to have it. It's adorable. Um, and it is from 85. So I thought it was from the 90s, but it's from 85, which that's okay. It sounds like... I used to like rattle I make like a fun rattling noise that's obviously not a fun rattling noise um the back of its head's a little bit dirty which I didn't realize I gotta clean that I'm gonna spot clean that then but uh yeah I found that bunny there's more <sighs> my nephew does that it's adorable so I found all these peep things, that one, and I am going to be keeping them. I wasn't going to, but I was like, do you know what? I have a couple like peep items and I wouldn't mind collecting them. These were two bucks. Um, yeah, so rainbow peep and then larger sized pink peep. This was two bucks. See, that's what I mean by like their pricing is weird. Like, that rainbow peep I just showed you should have been 99 cents, in my opinion, because it's tiny, right? Like, the Olivia pig. And then this one should have been, um, what it is priced. If I worked at Goodwill. That's just me. I know they're all different. Mine's kind of weird, though. Um, here's the purple one. And this was two bucks. He's so soft, too. I freaking love him. So... I don't really like the duck ones, but I got him because of the coloring, and he's just, like, really soft, so. And I just threw them on the wrong pile. I'm keeping these all. So this is an original Disney store stuffed animal, how they used to look. I'm sure they switched it all up. This is, like, a little dipper on its collar. This was $2.00. Maybe that's the most that they can put for a stuffed animal is $2 because, like, this is bigger than the other ones, you know what I mean? I wonder. Okay. So here he is. And I also am selling him.
I have this in like a leftover Build-A-Bear bag. <laughs> Love that for me. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing uh, some of the stuff that I'm going to have. There definitely will be more than what you've seen. I always have like just random stuff. And um, I usually have like a tote that I keep it in. Or like for now I'm going to keep it in that bag and then transport it over. But uh, there's definitely going to be more than what you've seen coming. Uh, that's just a little sneak preview of what I found from thrifting and hunting for treasures. So I hope you guys liked the video and I will see you all very soon in my next. I think I might go to bed early because my head kind of hurts, but uh, yeah. All right. I will talk to you guys all later. Mwah. Love you and bye.